And good afternoon and happy new year, everybody in the Cascade Pacific Council. I'm Chris Bartell, the marketing director of the Cascade Pacific Council, and it is 2022. I can't believe it. Happy new year to every single scout, scouter, family member, friend, volunteer out there. We are so thankful for just an incredible, crazy, wild last year. But 2022 is going to shake out, we believe, to be just absolutely fantastic. So today, just wanted to give you a quick news update about programs and events and deadlines and things of that nature nature to just get everybody in the loop as we launch into the new year. We'll also talk about some upcoming webinars that we'll have, including some important summer camp updates. So stay tuned because uh, next week and the weeks following going to be some important stuff, some great stuff, some really fun stuff we're going to talk about for 2022. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's start off here with, uh, first of all, a safety moment. Always a good thing to do at the beginning of our meetings that all of us do. And we're going to do that here for the webinars as well. And a lot of you are out there doing winter sports, whether it's sledding or joining us at winter lodges and things like that. So just some quick tips for our safety moment for today is that, of course, adult supervision. That's number one. And all of us adults you know, we need to pay attention. I know I like to go sledding. I love the inner tubing and all that stuff, but I have to remind myself too to pay attention at all times. Number two, just be aware of potential dangers really in any winter sport. Doesn't matter if you're skiing, if you're sledding, if you're snowshoeing. I mean, recently up in Mount Hood in that area, we've just had tons and tons of snow. And so it can be precarious at times. So just paying attention to all of your surroundings and knowing those potential dangers and actually really communicating that with, with everybody on the team, everybody in the scout unit at all times, really, really important. And just paying attention, as we said, also using um, personal and appropriate protective equipment, such as helmets for sledding. And, and really, uh, that's a really important one has become more and more important as, uh, as folks are out there, more and more people are out there playing in the snow and playing on the slopes. So wearing helmets uh, for sledding and snowboarding and skiing is, is really key and really important and a great idea in general. And also, as you know, winter sports can be demanding. While it may be simple to go out for a walk at any given time, when you throw snowshoes on, it is a little bit more difficult. So just be physically fit, right? That's one of our one of our mantras, as we like to say. So be physically fit and also don't forget to hydrate. Uh, these can be, it can be, uh, kind of difficult to remember to actually hydrate when you're out there playing in the snow, but you get dehydrated really, really fast. So just remember to stay hydrated and also just get fit, you know, get out there and maybe do some hills before you go out there snowshoeing because uh, snowshoeing, skiing, all that stuff, you know, it's, it's harder to get in shape for those things when we don't have a lot of snow in the cities and in towns that are not in the mountains. So, so make sure you do that. Also be sure that equipment fits each person properly, especially when we're talking about helmets, very, very important. And during sledding, really checking your surroundings again and, and adults and scouts, just make sure that it's free of any obstacles or any stumps, tree stumps, things like that, tree wells, make sure you're aware of those kinds of things and just keep it all safe, and especially those paths when you're when you're sledding down those hills and whatnot. And of course, before any activity lastly here, just review rules and responsibilities for everybody, for all scouts, for all adults, and just making sure everybody is aware, again, of the surroundings and what are the rules that we should all be following during those winter sports activities. All right, let's dive in here from the latest news from the Cascade Pacific Council. Lots of things going on. We had some deadlines here that we just want folks to know about. And so, but first of all, we're going to dive into some horse-oriented activities here. As you may know, and if you don't, this is fascinating fact, we actually have the largest herd of horses of any council in the in the entire Boy Scouts of America. So you should come out and check out those horses. They're fantastic if you haven't met them before. A couple of things that are happening is we have Little Buckaroo is back. And this is for Cub Scouts ages six to nine. And these are two hour horsemanship classes. Fantastic opportunity to get to know what horseback riding is, is about and horse safety and some basic riding skills. Really, really great opportunity to get to know horses. And these are happening actually now through May on the weekends at Butte Creek Scout Ranch. So check it out at cpcbsa.org slash horses. Also, there's a sale going on for weekend horse rides. So it's a, it's a good deal, 15 bucks off for half day rides and 30 bucks off a full day ride 
rides. So check it out. We have, uh, you, if you book your ride by January 31st, you get this great deal. And it's just an awesome time to come out and meet the horses, spend the day outside and enjoying Butte Creek. It's just a fantastic opportunity. It's for families, scout units, any youth age 10 and up. And again, there are full day and half day ride options as well. And you can check that out at cpcbsa.org slash horses. Okay, a couple quick things about summer camp. As you know, registration is now open. Some of the sessions actually are getting full. So for those scout units out there who haven't decided yet, you really need to hone in on where and when you wanna go because you wanna sign up for that soon. Uh, we have some great opportunities also for Cub Scouts, just so you know, of course we have Butte Creek Scout Ranch like we just mentioned, but also for Weeblos, Camp Baldwin, we call it Base Camp. It's really the way to kickstart you into getting into Scouts BSA scouting activities at summer camp. So it's a great opportunity to dive in and learn more about what summer camp is all about for you younger Scouts. We're going to head into Scouts BSA later on. It's called Base Camp at Camp Baldwin. So check that out. Also, you know, we have all of our camping opportunities at the Scouts BSA camps at Baldwin, Merriweather, Pioneer. And so you're going to want to check those dates. Like I said, that they are some of the dates are booking up really quickly. So make sure you dive into that soon and, and your scout unit decides on that. Also, just an FYI in terms of quote unquote summer camp, we have family camp as well this summer, and that's going to be at Camp Clark. We're going to have reservations open in March. So keep an eye out for that. As I mentioned, base camp for Camp Weeblos is happening. This is two weekends, actually. Here's just a little bit more detail on this for you. So July 6th through 9th and July 9th through 12th, you're going to be able to do some aquatics and some fishing and some boating, and you'll be able to do some shooting and things that you don't get to do when you're just at Cub Scout camp. So again, this is kind of a fun way to transition into the older Scouts camp and just really get a taste for what that's all about. So join us and you'll get to see Camp Baldwin, which is just a fantastic, fantastic place. So you can check that out at CPC bsa.org go to the adventures tab and just scroll around there for whether you're looking for a scouts uh, scouts bsa camp or cub scout camp and you'll have the links for those there speaking of summer camp some of you who are of age for summer camp staff you probably got a postcard in the mail over the holiday season and we want you to join us for summer camp staff we hire hundreds of summer camp staffers and we need help across the board whether you like to work with kids or you like to cook or you like to work on the waterfront there are tons of opportunities literally an opportunity for any kind of interest at summer camp. And it's just a fantastic way to, to learn more about what summer camp is all about, to grow in leadership. It's great for your resume and it is a blast. You'll make lifelong friendships there too. So, you know, like we like to say, you can choose to work at a pizza place or work at the Pacific Ocean, or you can choose to push grocery carts around or play in the Cascade Mountains or be a shelf stalker or a horse wrangler. It is your choice. So, we have virtual interviews starting February 5th. So you're going to want to get in on this for you scouts who are older and for you parents who have older kids. Actually, they don't have to be a scout. So kids ages really 15 and 16 and up really should look into this, whether you're in scouting or not and are interested in summer camp staff. Fantastic opportunity. You can check that out and all the details at cpcbsa.org slash camp staff. There's lots of details there and, uh, and information, and then you can actually apply there too. Next up, some upcoming events here. Just want to let you know that we mentioned this previously earlier, uh, actually in December here, this is was starting up, which is College of Youth Leadership. They're doing something a little bit different this year, where we have at Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m., there are these classes you get to take to really grow in your understanding of leadership as an older scout. So check that out at cpcbsa.org slash CYL for the College of Youth Leadership. Lots of great opportunities, lots of great ways to connect with other scouts your age, and just really learn how to grow in your leadership ability here. So check that out at cpcbsa.org slash CYL for the College of Youth Leadership. Super Weekends. This is another thing that registration is now open. Super Weekends are an absolute blast. I know my troop is super looking forward to it, but just like summer camp, 
These are getting booked up real quick like so you're going to want to plan for this if you haven't done so already super weekend is kind of like summer camp light a lot of activities are open and so you get to play you get to go to the summer camp properties and you get to check out lots of things whether it's shooting or just a whole variety of things that that go on versus just kind of a regular camping weekend so it's kind of like summer camp light so we have for cub scouts we have at Butte Creek Scout Ranch. We've got horses and shooting ranges will be open and a whole bunch more activities. That is March 4th through 6th and the first weekend of April as well. That's the, this is the first ever Cub Scout Super Weekend. So we're super excited about that. And also Scouts BSA, you've got three weekends to choose from in first weekend of March, first weekend of April, and the last weekend of September slash first weekend of October. So you're going to want to check that out. That's at Camp Merriweather, as always. So lots of activities there, fantastic opportunities. You can go to cpcbsa.org and go to the Adventures tab. And underneath that is Super Weekend. So you can register for that there. Another thing that is that's new here or has been in the works uh, in the past, we've actually done this in the past, but it's back and we're super excited about this. We call it meriting with the experts. And so this is an opportunity to actually work with folks at Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum on some merit badges. So for you scouts, BSA scouts, great opportunity to do a couple of merit badges here, American Labor, Engineering, Aviation and Sustainability Merit Badges. You can actually do this. Uh, on a variety of weekends. We don't list them here and aren't mentioning all the weekends here because there are tons of weekends and opportunities to take these merit badge classes with the experts. So keep an eye out for that. If you've never done one before, we do these with a variety of partners in the area. And in this case, we're talking about Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. But keep an eye out. This is a great opportunity to do something a little bit different with your merit badges. And in some cases, actually complete the entire merit badge course in a single day. So you can find out the links to that at cpcbsa.org slash calendar. Just do a search for meriting with the experts and you'll find it there. There's a whole bunch of opportunities for that. Okay, one thing to save the date about here, registration will open soon for this. This is called the Outdoor Skills Institute. It's going to be in May 13th through 15th. And these are adult classes specifically for adults to grow in your outdoor skills and your outdoor leadership. So we're going to have climbing instruction classes, uh, rifle instruction classes, leave no trace instruction classes, also Dutch oven cooking, some fun things like that too. It's a great weekend. It's gonna be an awesome opportunity to really grow in your understanding of, of outdoor skills and opportunities to, to teach and learn. And so anyway, check that out. Uh, it's gonna be on May 13th through 15th. So just mark your calendars for that. We're gonna have more details here shortly as registration opens uh, later on this month couple other save the date items. These are further away, but these are important because they do also fill up fast. So first off is wood badge. This is an opportunity to really connect with scouts. This is for adults to connect with scouts and grow and learn and really become a better leader, not just in scouting, but to earn some amazing leadership skills that are used in business and in life. So that's at cpcbsa.org slash wood badge. That's the wood badge weekend, September 13th through 17th. And we are actually going to be having a wood badge webinar here in a couple of weeks. So keep your eyes open for that. You'll get to hear all about this, some stories about wood badge, just about the relationships that get built and the skills. Really great. So you can check out some details at cpcbsa.org slash wood badge. Also, Couple other save the date items, World Jamboree and National Jamboree. World Jamboree is where tens of thousands of scouts from all over the world come together and scouts get to meet each other. It is an incredible experience. And this next time around in 2023, in June 2023, it's going to be in Korea. So you can check out the details at 2023 WSJKorea.org for World Jamboree in 2023. Also, National Jamboree is happening as well, same year in 2023, but in July, this is another opportunity to, to meet tens of thousands of scouts, in this case, from all over the United States at the National Jamboree. It is the Summit Bechtel Reserve in Virginia. It is an incredible 
incredible, incredible opportunity to, to just have an incredibly fun time, but also meet scouts from all over the place. So you can check that out at cpcbsa.org slash jamboree. We're going to do a webinar on that one as well. So you can learn more about what it's all about and how to raise money for it. What does it cost? All that kind of stuff. And the incredibly fun activities that you get to learn from that. But if you want a teaser, go to cpcbsa.org slash jamboree and check that out. It's going to be awesome. All right, a couple other news items here. The spring snack attack candy sale is on the candy and meat sticks. So that is happening and we're kicking that off here in a couple of weeks. Training is starting soon. So if you're interested in doing snack attack, our spring fundraiser, go to cpcbsa.org slash snack attack because we want you to sign up there and basically pre-register for a training session. We're trying to figure out who all is in, who's all interested in doing this because these are great opportunities to earn money for your scout, for your unit, all of that. So check that out at cpcbsa.org slash snack attack because training sessions are happening soon. It's a new year. And of course, who doesn't want a new mountain bike? Mountain bike. If you didn't get a mountain bike for Christmas and you really wanted one, well, here's a great opportunity to get one for yourself at 500 bucks off or a hundred bucks off. They're 500 bucks. You get a hundred bucks off. And these are almost new. They were only used for one season. They are REI hardtail mountain bikes. They're from Camp Merriweather. They are really well-maintained. They are fantastic bikes. And we have them in a multitude of sizes too. And you get a hundred bucks off, as I mentioned, well, 99. Okay, I round it up. So you get for 500 bucks, it normally costs 599 bucks and you get a, a new bike, a brand new bike for yourself anyway. So check that out. You'll actually get a link for this in your Compass Points emails newsletter that's happening tomorrow. And so you'll have the links for that. One thing I wanted to mention just from a, from a marketing perspective and whatnot is that we would love it. This year, I would love it if there would be a, a goal for your scout unit to actually start a Facebook or an Instagram feed if you ha don't have one. And actually a public face group, Facebook group it would be fantastic or an Instagram feed because here's what's fun. I know it can feel like there's once one more thing to do. However, you can let us at the Cascade Pacific Council make some posts for you there, which increases the awareness about your scout unit in your area, especially on Facebook. Really a great opportunity to just share what your, your unit is doing, whether you're Scouts BSA or Cub Scouts. We've seen it for our scout unit. It's really great because then the parents can share the things that are going on with their friends. It's a really great opportunity to share the activities that are going on in your scout unit. And what we'll do is occasionally the Cascade Pacific Council will also post some fun posts, kind of like this, this quote here uh, as, a, as an example of some fun things that we'll post to keep your feed fresh. And then on occasion, you can post there as well. It's a really great way to just share the scouting story at the at the real boots on the ground level, at the real local, local level of what your scout unit is doing, whether it's service projects and whatnot. So please start up a Facebook group or an Instagram feed for your scout unit. And then what we'd love you to do is go to cpcbsa.org slash marketing and connect with us there. So if you're an admin of your Facebook, of your unit's Facebook page or Instagram feed, you can then connect to us at cpcbsa.org slash marketing. And then we will create some posts for you. So it's kind of fun. And all the time, every time we create a post for you, we'll actually send a message in there that asks folks to direct message you, your scout unit for questions and whatnot. So it's kind of a way to drive people to connect with you and to learn more. So there you go. All right. One other thing about the newsletters, as I mentioned, you'll get some newsletters uh, every week. At on Thursdays, after our webinars, which are on, on Wednesdays, on Thursdays, we send out our Compass Points email newsletter. This year, we're turning it around a little bit here. We are going to focus more content directly on the type of scout unit you are in, or if you're not in a scout unit, you get sort of the general news information. So what we're trying to do here is to hone in on exactly what you parents, especially you parents out there who are incredibly busy, I know, I get it. What you need to know for Cub Scouts or what you need to know if, you're, if your scout is in Scouts BSA. So we're going to try something a little bit different here. Try and get you information that is more targeted to what you might be interested in so that you have deadlines and things like that that will help you for your scouts. And, and as well as some tools and things like that too, specifically for your type of scout unit. So 
Also, we'll have a general email newsletter for those of, who are not specifically in a scout unit. Uh, you'll receive those as well. It's going to be a little bit of a test here. We're actually testing it out tomorrow. So tomorrow, you will actually receive one of these newsletters. And uh, and if you're actually flagged, however, for multiple things, multiple scout units or scout unit types, you'll actually probably get multiples. We can't fix that part. But we're going to do our best to try and get you specific information, specifically for Cub Scouts, Scouts BSA, and general information for the Cascade Pacific Council. Okay, a couple of last things here is that we have, of course, Camp for All is starting up. For those of you who don't know what Camp for All is, it is our fundraising program to from the council level to try and raise money to get every single scout to camp, give them an incredible experience. So this goes to Camp for All goes specifically to camp scholarships and camp related programs and activities. That is all starting up. Those of you who are in a scout unit or leading a scout unit, you're going to start talking about this, I'm sure, with your with your cub masters, with your scout masters, with your camp for all folks and your district executives. But you can start finding out more at cpcbsa.org slash start camp for all. That's the number four all. So start camp for all. Also, if you're interested, we have a super fun opportunity. If you have a team of folks who likes to shoot shotguns, maybe you ought to think about grabbing a team together here and joining us for the Kerr Contractors Sporting Clays Shootout. It's called Golf with Guns, as we like to say. It is a fantastic time where you grab a whole team of folks and you go do a round of sporting clays in all these different positions and all of these different areas, kind of like uh, basically holes of golf, if you will. So it is an incredible opportunity to just have a great time, enjoy great barbecue. You can check that out at cpcbsa.org slash shootout. There's opportunities to actually become sponsors in that and to connect with folks as a team. So check that out at cpcbsa.org slash shootout. Back to camp for all. Just a quick note is that we do have these awesome, ooh, I have some here, but I don't think they'll show up. Oh, there we are, but you can see them. Awesome new council shoulder patches here. You can see them. We've got multiple versions depending on the gift that you give. And so then you can actually receive one of these patches. Fantastic opportunity to show your support for Camp for All, for getting scouts to camp and getting uh, and giving them just an incredible experience. We're doing this over the next few years. Every year is going to have a theme for each camp. This year, because we've had so much awesome things happening at Butte Creek, we're kicking it off with Butte Creek. So it focuses on Butte Creek. You can see the little, little logos here, the little icons. It's really, really fun. And you get a different, um, a different patch depending on your giving level. So check that out at cpcbsa.org slash Camp for All. And if you give $1,200, you get all three in a fun frame. Sorry, the Nutcracker doesn't come along with it. That's actually my Nutcracker. But you do get them all in a very, very cool frame uh, just to put them up on your wall. And what'll be really fun is for you to be able to collect these over time because we're going to be doing these for every single camp. So check that out at cpcbsa.org slash camp for all. That's the number four, all camp, number four, all. Okay, one other way, if you're interested in just being really a part of Camp Merriweather's history, you can actually sponsor a Camp Merriweather staff bunkhouse. You can get your name or your family's name or someone else's name that you prefer on an actual bunkhouse here, just like you see in this picture in the middle here. You can contact Mike Egan for that at michael.egan at scouting.org for more information on that. Great way to support all of the activities at Camp Merriweather to support camp staff at Camp Merriweather. And you'll get to see these incredible facilities that we've built for camp staff and beyond. It's really amazing. So check that out and, uh, and ping Mike on that. That's michael.egan, E-G-A-N at scouting.org. Okay, lastly here, some upcoming webinars that we have. And just so you know, next week, we're working on an important summer camp uh, update. So we want you to know about that. There's just a couple of quick things, some deadlines and things like that. You know, we're ramping up to summer camp. We feel like it's all going to be normal. So anyway, we'll ramp up to that, give you all the latest and greatest information, some deadlines, things to just be kind of aware of over the next few months, as well as some changes in things. So Please uh, join us for the Summer Camp Update webinar next Wednesday. We'll send information out. We'll send reminders out as well. And it's, it's going to be fantastic. Also, following up with that, we're going to have webinars on a whole variety of things, including wood badge, as I mentioned. We're going to talk about why we scout. We're going to talk about just activities you can, programs you can do in scouting, scout book, how-to guides, things like that. So 
keep an eye out for these upcoming webinars. They're going to be fantastic. Lastly, I just wanted to thank all of the Eagle Scouts out there. Hundreds of you worked your tails off last year and finished your Eagle Scout projects. You finished everything you needed to do, and we just can't thank you enough. I tell you, the impact you have on your communities is just incredible. It is such an inspiration, and thanks to all of the parents and all of your fellow Scouts who helped you with your projects, it's incredible. We believe you've actually completed more than 50,000 hours of service in 2021, just through your Eagle Scout projects alone. And that is awesome. And so what we're going to share with you here is a little video just sort of highlighting some of the Eagle projects that were happening last year and hopefully motivate the rest of you who are really working toward those Eagles to, uh, to just keep at it. It is a lot of work, but it is worth it. And we're just so grateful to all of you who have worked so hard to finish your Eagle Scout. Congratulations and keep up the great work the rest of you. Hopefully this motivates and inspires you. And we'll end with that. Thank you so much for joining us today at our webinar, and we will see you next week to talk about summer camp.